Hello creative people, happy Saturday, and welcome to my 12th episode of Saturday Morning Makes. Saturday Morning Makes was started by Jill Norwood here on YouTube, so you will have to check her channel out. She goes by Jillian Norwood, and um, join us. It's a lot of fun. All you have to do when you uh, create your video is hashtag SatMornMakes and put that in the description area, and then it will populate into that hashtag. Okay, first of all, I am going to show you what all the products I used um, to create my um, make today. I made one thing, but I have used a lot of stuff. So I used this stamp. It's been in my stash for a long time. Um, it looks like the artist is Amy Wilson. And it's a Stampotique stamp. I really like their stuff. I like the artsy, edgy, um, edginess to a lot of their stamps. And I have quite a few of them. So that is... I love that stamp. Okay, so I used that stamp. I also used this Christmas Rose stamp set. It's actually a two uh, set. This is an awesome stamp set because you stamp that out and then um, all of this fills in so you don't have to, you can totally color that stamp with whatever medium you want to or you can use these to fill in the color which is what I used. And I didn't make a Christmas project, but I did use that because it makes a beautiful rose. And I also used the dies that go along with that, that stamp set. Um, I used red twine and black tulle. I used a tag from this tag pad by um, Julie Nutting. It's a Prima marketing tag pa uh, package. I have a couple of these and they're a little bit thicker. They're not um, probably quite as thick as chipboard, but there's these different designs and the design is on the front and back of the tag. I love these. And a lot of times, in fact today too, I usually just cover them up with whatever paper I, I wanna use but to have the big tag to start with is um, really nice. And when I bought these, I paid $7.99 for them. I have no idea if they're still available or what you can get them for today. I did buy them in a stamp store. Okay, I used this, my Dymo label maker. You're probably wondering what in the world did she make with this stuff? What a weird assortment. I used this bling, um, Want to Scrap is the brand it looks like. Um, I just love these drops, teardrop rhinestones. Um, not sure where I found those at. I also used this stencil from Simon Says Stamp and it's called Rain Rain Go Away. I used um, this cracked glass stamp here from Stampers Anonymous. This is a Tim Holtz collection stamp set, and they are red rubber cling stamps. And finally, I used um, this, let's see, was it that? Yeah, I think this rose paper here and a piece of this, I think it was this white one here that I also used. And this is Stampin' Up! and it's the True Love Designer Series paper. And it's all black and white patterns in this package. Okay, so here is what I made. Just gonna hold it up so you can see it. I put the little piece of the white with the um, that 
I told you I used a little piece of that white rose paper and it's just on the top there. And then the rest is the darker paper. I went over the paper with that cracked glass stamp and then I did ink around the edges of the whole tag with the um, with black memento ink. These little flourishes up here are from the die set that that rose um, stamp is in. And of course I did my words with the Dymo label maker. I only colored the eye and the lips there on her. I did add a little Wink of Stella there um, to the tears coming out. And then I ran the tear jewels down. After I um, did all of the, the stamp, and I used my Stamparatus to line up the stamps, and that worked really well to get all the color filled in. I inked around the edge of that after I die cut it out with black, and then I, I also took my black across the top. Um, I did all of the black teardrops down the left side there, and then onto the rows. Um, what else? Oh, I added this little rose charm there and I colored just the rose with alcohol inks. So if you didn't know that you can use your alcohol inks to color metal, you can and it doesn't come, it stays on there. So you can make your charms whatever colors you'd like. That's the back. So that's the back of the tag. If I find, because I'm gonna hang this on my wall here in my craft room, if I find that it starts warping a bit, um, because it isn't, like I said, it's not the thickness of chipboard. It is thicker than cardstock. Um, and it's got kind of a slick um, feel to the tag. I will just simply um, maybe back it with a piece of chipboard and then cover it uh, if it starts to warp. I've got a couple of more tags that I've made in here using these and one kind of started to warp a bit and the other one's nice and flat. So I'm not sure what caused the difference, but anyway. This is my one make. I started it yesterday and then it took me all morning to finish it and I was really pleased with how it turned out. It does have meaning to me and I, I will just leave it at that. <laughs> um, but anyway, I hope that you like it and I hope you're having a fabulous weekend. Be sure to hashtag Satmorn Makes up in the search bar and you will find all the videos of everybody that's participating. There are also people participating on Instagram um, and in Facebook uh, groups. So if you hashtag that same uh, Satmorn Makes on those platforms, you will find... Um, what people have done there as well. So have a great weekend and I will see you again next time. Thanks for stopping by. Please subscribe and like my channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. Happy crafting and creating. Bye-bye.